Hey guys, it's Daps. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am excited to have you join me in this tutorial. So right on my screen here is a website called image to html img2html.com. This website here uses AI to convert your images to HTML. So what that means is that you can literally convert any image to a live website. How super cool is that? So without further ado, I think we should get started immediately. So if you check the video description, you will see a link to this tool, or you can just come to img2html.com. So right now, let's just get started. Let me go to my dashboard. So if I come back here, this is my dashboard, and now I just need to select an image. And if I do, and then I can just watch the magic happen, right? So let's do this together and let's see. So I think I should just take a random website. Uh, I have Bitcoin.com here. Let me just do a screenshot of this and let's see if we can convert this to a live page. So I will open my snipping tool. So I'm using Windows. I will use the default Windows snipping tool. If you're using Mac, I, I believe Mac should have a snipping tool as well. I really don't know. So here's my snipping tool. I can just do something new and then I can do a screenshot. just something like this good uh, so i would save this uh screenshot that's it uh we have a snip ready so i'll close this up and then let's come back here and let's ideally i think the chrome extension should solve for this problem uh so if you click the chrome extension i did uh click on this i install their chrome extension and i have the chrome extension here uh, but if i click this somehow the chrome extension isn't connecting to my account i don't know why that is but i want to believe that their chrome extension should help you do captures uh, i would get back to the com uh to developers i will ask them uh if they can explain more about this so ideally i have zero credit but you can see on my dashboard i have 200 credits so it's not linking I put in my email submit. I should get a login link, but I haven't gotten that. So if I click this, it will take me to this dashboard here. So somehow I think this Chrome extension should solve for having to snip uh, pictures. Uh, so I think I should I should watch out on that. I'll do for that tutorials usually when I get all of these things sorted out or figured out. But that's what it is right now. So let's just uh, select our image, Bitcoin.com. So let's open this all right so i have my image uploading so let's watch wow so uh i i've had troubles trying to upload these images i just keep getting uh something blank like this as though uh, the images are broken so i keep re-uploading deleting them expecting to see the image pop up as you can see i've gone from 200 uh, credit to 190 Three credits so it means i've tried this like seven times back to back i just believe in why are these images not popping up but eventually i just realized that i can just even just try this without this image uh popping so let's just let's just convert this to html and let's just see so it says generate html so i'll click this and let's just give this a try this is very funny uh, that I can't see the image here and it's broken here, but the AI is still able to come up with this, even though this is not exactly uh, what we have on our image. I'm still a little bit shocked and fascinated at the same time. Uh, so we can see by your first Bitcoin here, we can see the button here is not able to generate these images. I don't really know why. So this is extremely funny. So the first thing I've just figured out right now is that this AI is not able to uh, accommodate for bigger images. So you want to ensure that you use smaller images that you can just use elements that you can use as element on a part of your website. So this would not be appropriate to clone an entire page all at once. Maybe eventually if they improve the platform, but that's what I'm about to figure out. I really don't know if this is accurate, but that's my experience right now. Uh, so right now, I think what I can do is for me to just uh, go ahead and try to uh, clone other pages or other section of the website. Something very, very small and let's see if that would work. 
Uh, so that's the only thing that can come to my head right now. So we can download this in case we want to use this, but I really don't want to use this. This doesn't really make sense for me. Uh, so let's come back here. Uh, since we are unable to do that, so I think uh, this is just very... Let's come to the about page. Let's see if I can see something else. My, inter my internet connection is very, very crappy, so bear with me. So I'm unable to just uh, get this. I'm trying to run away from images. I'm just trying to experiment with other things. Uh, let's just see. Uh, maybe I should do... Let me open an incognito window. And let's do Facebook. So here's Facebook.com. Let's try to see if we can snip uh, this and let's see what we get. So I'll just do this. All right. Uh, let's save this. Just call this FB. That's my download. That's good. So let's close this. Let's come back here and then let's go back. All right, so let's select this image. It's the same thing. Uh, this uh, the image is broken, but it's okay. Let's try to generate the HTML now. I know better, so let's. Uh, so now let's eat the generate html all right so this is done uh this is crazy and amazing uh see the result we have here uh this is extremely different from uh the image i tried to snip so i'm wondering is it trying to convert it to a mobile version or i really don't get what's going on here so here's this here's the snip uh so i have facebook here and then uh, i have the form here from the page this is the snip that i uploaded but this is the result that i'm getting uh, it's okay uh, we can stay with this but uh, let's see if we can make some changes to this and the good thing about changing this is just i just have to put a prompt here to make the changes here uh, this is very fantastic so uh, let's say uh, change Facebook logo Instagram. Let's see if that would work. Okay, so he came back with this. Uh literally uh changed about well, this is this AI seems to be very very intelligent. So now he, Facebook is gone from here. Nice changes to Instagram. Instagram help you connect and share with people in your life so now we can put our facebook we can put our email and password uh and it changed automatically to the color to reflect the same uh color for instagram and i think that's that's very very intuitive it's fantastic to see what ai can do right now these days uh this is very very this is very very impressive so i wouldn't want to drag this video long and long so i'll keep experimenting with this tool and i'm going to be bringing you more updates real quick about this uh fantastic tool and what you can and cannot do with this tool this is my first try and i think um i have something very very good here so right now i think uh we should go to the concluding part of this tutorial which is for us to see uh what else we can still do you can click this uh there are if you still check on the website, there are still a number of things here. So you have a link here to download here. Uh, also preview will come back to that. So if I click this link here, it should open this up for me in a page. So this is exactly what it should look like. And I think this is cool. Uh, so we can come back here. You can download that to HTML so that you can open that in your local machine. So that's also a possibility. And we can come back here this is in a preview mode and we can just hit the edit button and this will generate the code for us 
Uh, so you can see this is the code and this code is as good as we can paste it anywhere on our website, whatever website you're using, whether or not you're using WordPress. And we'll get to that shortly. And you have some options here. This is HTML tailwind. And I don't know why this is like this, this is crazy. Uh, so if you come down here, you can get HTML and inline the CSS. You can also get React and some other things here that you can still do with this code. So I think we should copy this and let's paste this into uh, Elementor WordPress website. So I'll copy this code, I'll right click. Uh, let's copy this code here and let's come to, I have a random uh, WordPress website here with Elementor. So we can just, let's try to work with structure i think i will do something like this okay so we have that here i think i'll just excuse this navigator for a bit and then we can bring in an html so elementor give us access to an html widget and this is it here so we can just easily drag these widgets here good stuff so we have our html code here section here so we can just paste our code here super simple and we have our code here isn't this amazing so what we can still do is to maybe give you some padding or some margin to just make this uh beautiful so let's come to advanced that's it here and then uh let's just preview this bingo so we have a login page here on our wordpress website integrated with uh, Elementor. How beautiful is this for you to just pick a random image and then you can convert it into an HTML code that you can use on your website. I think this is a fantastic. So I'll be playing more with this AI and I'll be trying to get the best out of it to see what I can still do with it, how I can possibly have some other tools to it and then if we can even use this to build an entire website. So I would experiment more and I will get back to you. And I think we can check their pricing if you come uh, to their website here. So from here, we can just come to their pricing plan. So let's see how much they charge. So you can see for you to have 200 credits, uh, you'll be doing 20, literally just $30 per month. And then you can increase your credit monthly for you to see. So this is 59, this is like $60 per month. You have their Chrome extension and all of these things here. So if you want to get less for maybe 40 credit per month. So that's about $10 per month for you to get a 40 credit. 40 credit should be able to get you to work around 30 to 40 elements or clone or whatever it is. And then for three, I think this is just uh, the trial version, just 1.99 per month. So this is amazing. So you can give this a trial, just try this out and uh, see how this would work for you and this would help you significantly uh, so that's it i would be coming up with more tutorials on this in a bit and i'll see you in that tutorial stay safe bye for now